I was in the uh, in the bathroom taking a shave, and I heard a, a screeching, solid between a screech and a whistle. I said, "What in the world is this?" And I heard a boom. <laughs> We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I'm gonna be real. I don't have any friends. I know, right? Finally had to say it the way it needs to be said. <laughs> Instead of beating around the bush and this and that. I don't have any friends. This ain't clickbait. This ain't sympathy bait. This ain't, oh, everybody let's surround homeboy with our loving embrace. I'm just stating the facts. And you know, I'm a analytical, deep thinking person. So I'm not just gonna leave the statement standing like that. Like, oh, I don't got no friends. Let's delve into the reasons why I think I don't have any friends. Number one, people want to know me. They want to be around me. When I say I don't have any friends, I'm really referring to the people that I used to know all the way up until 2020. A lot of the people I grew up with, a lot of former friends, you know, um, people I went to high school with, and even the people that I was cool with, you know, they really wasn't my friends. And I'm, I'm talking about like from, from family members. For one, you know, I reached a stage in my life where I don't put up with a lot of bullshit. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't put up with no, no manipulation of a friendship, like of my friendship. If, 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 if I do something that's cool, acknowledge that shit. I got friends that will, will try to make me ashamed of anything that I'm doing, but secretly they're trying to do it on the low to make me ashamed of it so that they can have the thing. That goes from music to clothes to people who try to make me ashamed of anything I'm doing. I got gold in my mouth. Do you believe that there were people that tried to make me ashamed of having gold in my mouth? <laughs> so it's, it's things like that. People don't acknowledge what I bring to the table. They don't, they, they don't want to acknowledge it. They, certain friends want to live my exact life. You know, gaslighting. Like I said, they want me to be ashamed of anything I'm doing. Here's an example, right? I'm the kind of dude that if I say something, like a hot take, and I make it sound like an absolute, a hundred people, specifically men, cause you know, that's, that's who you can debate with logically, right? They say never argue with women. A hundred men will come disagree with me. Oh man, that's just how you look at it. Or oh man, no, not a, not everybody, not this, not that. Oh man, no, you seeing it wrong, dude. Right, nobody will agree with me. They make it seem like I'm just totally off base, totally. And that goes for even things that, that, that involve my own life and my own perspective and everything, right? Oh, you looking at it wrong, right? Now, do you think if I showed up around those hundred men with a female, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think they all gonna be like, oh man, that girl is not my type. I don't want nothing to do with her. No, they all gonna wanna fuck. They all gonna want some kind of sexual favor from this woman that they see attached to me. I have never been with a woman that nobody wanted to fuck but I've always had opinions that nobody wanted to have. Okay, let me repeat that. I've never had a woman that nobody wanted to fuck, but I've always had opinions that nobody wanted to agree with or have. So that's what I mean. This ain't no pity party. Thing is, I want real friends. I want motherfuckers that are comfortable with me shining. 
you know, I used to be homeless. I, you know, I wasn't gonna bring this up, but let's let's bring it up. You know, I used to be homeless for a long time. I got thrown out to the wolves by a bunch of sheep. Let's keep it real. My family is a bunch of sheep. They, they, their every thought is 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 is, you know part of the status quo their every ambition their every whim their every you know i got people that's trying to gaslight me telling me oh you shouldn't worry about people what people think and these are these are traditionalist men and women that done got married they done pair bonded with other motherfuckers and had children but yet they're trying to come to me on some rebellious you know don't worry about what other don't worry about what the society thinks what the fuck you mean you celebrate every fucking holiday, every pagan holiday that comes around from Christmas to New Year's to your birthday to this, to that. You celebrate every every little paganism that comes around, <laughs> right? You, you, you're doing everything the traditional family-orientated way, right? You're going to get photos taken <laughs> with your family for Christmas cards and all that. Well, yeah, you're telling me you know, and that's that's what I mean. I want genuine people around me. Genuine. If I'm doing something cool, I want people around me that will admit that, hey, man, that's cool. That What you're doing right there, that's cool. If I got a hot take or, because I'm a thought leader. That's another reason why I don't have no friends. I'm a thought leader. Uh, I wasn't associated with no gangs or drugs or criminal activity. So, yeah, I was pretty lame, according to criminal loving working class people that I had to grow up around. I even called up my former friend a few months ago, 2023, and we got into a slight argument over over semantics. And I'm like, man, I basically said something along the phrases like, hey, man, be careful when you're talking to a real one. Not to say that that person wasn't real or that, you know what I'm saying, I'm realer than anybody. I'm just saying I'm a real one. And you know what his response to that was? Was for him to reminisce about the t a time when I was a kid and they was out here doing criminal activity and uh, I ran in the house. <laughs> right, they was, they was robbing the pizza man or some bullshit, getting hyped off a movie, right? And these are the people that, that telling me I'm a thought leader. They telling me not to care about what other people think, but they getting hyped over a movie, <laughs> the the events of a movie, Juice, starring Tupac, led them to want to do some shit in real life, right? So they was doing that, and I ran in the house, right? So he brings this up in 2023. Now, mind you, I was probably like 13, 14 years old when that happened, right? When I ran in the house, right? Now. They was robbing the pizza man. They wasn't robbing the, the plug. They wasn't robbing a bunch of gangsters or no shit like that. So when I ran in the house, it wasn't because of no street shit. It wasn't because of, oh man, I'm worried about these gangsters and shit like that. No, nigga, I got a dad. My dad was there with me at home. That's who I was afraid of, my dad. See, you don't know that, boy, because you ain't grew up with your pops. You don't understand what I went through. You ain't grow up with your pops, boy. So you tried to align yourself with me and my family because you didn't have you didn't have your pops. He, he basically said, "Oh, you ain't no real nigga because you ran in the house." So he he still he, he still uh, he, uh, equivalates realness with criminal activity. And this man has been one of my biggest haters. Uh, in life, he, he he portrayed himself as as my best friend, but he was one of my biggest haters. But thanks to him, I know what haters look like. I know what a hater acts like. Thank you. So when I say I don't have no friends, what I mean, I want genuine people around me that don't mind seeing me shine or advance, that don't mind people liking me for who I am, that don't mind. Uh, sharing with other people some of my accomplishments this is why i don't have friends it's not because no one's interested in me because everybody is i'm eccentric i dress fly as fuck i'm smart as fuck and i've overcame a lot of odds that you know if people were really my friend they could have been inspired by me and and, and all that but i'm gonna pause this um but i'm gonna end it right there i don't have any friends and 
part of the reason why is because my guard is up. In, in order to be a part of my life, you have to be a genuine person. You can't be no jealous, weird, insecure. You you got to be someone that, that brings something to the table, that has your own uniqueness. You know, I ain't saying you got to be an artist like me, but you there has to be, you have to be so confident in yourself that you don't mind a person like me and you will want a person like me around. You know, I talk to people all the time and they try to diminish how how I'm a thought leader and, and try to say things like, oh, you sound just like this other person I know. But they never they never introduce me to that other person that I so much that I sound so much like. <laughs> right? Oh, you sound just like my uncle. You sound just like this one person I work with, but we they never introduce us. Right? And that's another way of someone trying to diminish who I am by by trying to make it seem like it's commonplace. I'm a thought leader. That means the thoughts that I have are not common. <laughs> so you're not going to have many friends when you're when you're when you're thinking things that that are not common. And that's just just the gist of it right there. So I'm gone. What's wrong, nigga? I thought you was keeping it. Conductor. 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 Thank you.